Do what I got to do. Some people think that I just sitting on top of the world. Hey, I'm just trying to be me, proving what I got to prove. Some people think that I just sitting on top of the world. Hey, sitting on top of the world, top of the world, top of the world. Hey, <sighs> I've been in a brandy mood all day, you guys. I'm hot. I got some Henny in my cup, and I don't give a fuck. The baddest bitch in the club right here. Here I go. Oh, that's Esther Dean, by the way. <laughs> What's good, y'all? So, y'all lucky because I'm lit. I know I was late earlier this week. Shut up, bitch. Um, and I'm here to get y'all. <clears throat> Chasing Dallas. This is season three, episode three. Um, the last you tell. Now, first and foremost, let, let, let me let me say something. <clears throat> I'm so sick and tired. I happen to give out these damn wait. Okay, I'm so sick and tired, happy to be giving out these damn PSAs. <coughs> Excuse me. I have some personal relationships with some of these people from the cast. So if they're going through something and I don't want to speak on that, that's my prerogative. Because I have some type of personal relationship with these people. And I don't want I don't want to be like Ariel, okay? I don't want to be in the middle and then people sitting up around here trying to blame me for the breakdown of data and friendships. You understand me? So if I don't want to talk about that shit, I don't want to talk about that motherfucking shit, bitch. And guess what? It won't get talked about. Like the nerve of some of y'all trying to call my review trash because y'all say I'm being biased. Being biased about what, bitch? Listen. When it came down between Markel and Reese, I don't want to have nothing to do with that shit because, in my opinion, they ain't got no reason to have an issue with each other. Because I'm over talking about the whole damn lovers of friends shit. The shit been out for two damn seasons now. At this point, there should be no problem. Now, whatever else, the issues that they got, I don't want to have no issues with that. I'm friends with Markel. I'm cool with Reese. I ain't got a dog in the fight because I know how a lot of y'all do. I, you know, I give an opinion that you will swear up and down I'm choosing the side. Ergo, I'm just going to stay my ass out of one. It ain't none of my damn business, bitch. I'm not in the media uh, shit. I do nursing. Number two, I ain't got no, I, I, mm -mm. I'm going to let them have that. All right. So if y'all upset about that, go to somebody else's channel, child, who don't mind being in a mess like that. <clears throat> child. I mean, hell, let's just be clear. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, girl, like if this was one of the damn, like if this was Housewives or something, you know, I probably would have had an opinion because I'd be getting paid for my opinion. No shade. The hell? <sighs> anyway, so Ariel leaves and then she tells Reese what she heard from Carrie D by way of Markel. And Reese tells Ariel about Markel's fake ass account. So for those of y'all that don't know or you've been living under a rock somewhere, last episode it ended at Trey's Howard party with Reese leaving and Ariel going off after what she heard from Carrie D's drunk ass. Um... And then Reese is telling Markel about Ariel's fake ass account. Like I said, even with that, I will hope Markel ain't do that. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, y'all can have that. Because I'm over that. So Reese, Trey Howard, and Dior goes to see Ariel perform down at a bar called Booties. Okay, because it, it won't nothing else to that, uh, that previous one. So they go down to Booties, girl. Girl, shout out to Booties, honey. Um, child, I was down for it. Trey Howard's confessional look. Now, Trey, Trey, you know you my baby doll. I love my Trey so much. I love Trey and James down. I really do. But listen. <laughs> now, you, now listen. Last week, you was giving me a nasty piece of Regine, uh, Regine living single 90s tease. Today, girl, you was giving me a hard piece of Laquita. All right. Shout out to the, I would have said Shanene, but now nah, I ain't going to do you like that. At least Laquita was a lot more softer in the face than Shanene. So I give you Laquita before I give you Shanene. But the gag is I was actually going for Shanene. 
Um, but Lord knows, not this confessional look, Trey Howard. Dear God Almighty, that shit look itchy and hot as hell. Child, I know your, I know the top part of your body was so damn happy to be up out of that fast suit you had on, and then you had the nerve to have a big ruffles on the thing. Lord, y'all know I love my Trey Howard. But, <laughs> child, listen. I don't know if he was giving me her or J Lo or Shakira or Madonna. It looked like some one of their asses to be in. But um I like the hair, but I just won't down with that. I don't know, girl. It looked like one of my mama old purses from back in the day. I don't know. <laughs> I love you, Trey Howard. Um And it's the Henny. Girl, I got Henny, see. That's the blender, Sonny. Okay, we top shelf round here. We top shelf fish. Chasing Dallas, this is no shade. Y'all know I ain't got no problem with none of y'all around there. I don't. But I'm going to need for y'all to fix y'all mics. Like, it's y'all third season. While everything else is where it need to be, I'm going to need for y'all to fix them damn mics. Because there was parts of the conversation I couldn't even hear because it was going in and out, in and out. And then when we did hear girl Reese loud ass, child, her loud ass voice probably blew the damn mics out, quiet as it's kept. Reese don't need no damn mic, honey. Now, Dior need a mic because he he like to do that Janet Jackson whisper shit. Boy, if you don't cut that whispery shit out, um, Ariel don't need a mic. Carrie D don't need a mic. Um, Robert don't need a mic. Eric might need a mic. Because from what it looked like on the next episode, I don't know. Because I believe what Robert said, Eric. We're going to get to it when we get to it. Uh, but y'all know what I mean. Y'all get that together. We th This is the third season. We should not be having mic issues in the third season. We should not. Just constructive criticism. Do not get in your bag, child. Um. <clears throat> so, <laughs> so, Reese shades the hell out of Carrie D. It feels like Markel is causing... All of the issues. Um, dropping nuggets in everybody's ear. Like I said, I will hope not. Um, I mean, but at the same time, Reese, it ain't as if when somebody asks you about the situation, that it's not like you don't throw your fair share of shade. I mean, I, again, I'm staying out of it. Um, so Trey, Trey Howard calls Carrie D in the middle of their conversation and Ricky Reese hangs up on them. Trey says that he was being a little messy while he was calling Carrie DC. Trey, you messy. Stay out of that Trey, Trey Howard. You got a lot going on. You just got your LLC. Um, you already got one artist. One, I mean, one client running around here talking about showing like your damn outfits. Like. Worry about that. Whatever they got going on, Trey Howard, I want you to stay out of that, baby. All right? Please stay out of that. All right? I get it. You you hold some residual feelings from last season. I totally understand it. And you're not wrong for having your feelings. But I just feel like you you moving on to bigger and better things. Don't be messy. All right? And at this point, I, I listen, because I'm with you when you're right. I do feel like Reese and Carrie do need to have a conversation because I really don't know where the problem between them came. Um, maybe it's something I missed. I do know there was an issue at the reunion. I don't know. Like, I I don't know. I, I'm confused by the whole Carrie D and Reese situation. So I really ain't got too much to say about that. But I am confused. And um, I, I need somebody to help me not be confused, child. Um, because that that's that's... You know, him and Markel, I get. him And like, and it's same with him and George. I really don't get where that's coming from. We'll get to it when we get there. So, Reese wants to have an event called the Lemon Squeeze. And he's inviting everybody with separate imp separate invitations. Reese feels like somebody got in Carrie's D ear. And that's why he's throwing so much shade for no reason. I mean, I am a little bit taken. I, I'm, a, I'm a little confused, too. I am. I, I don't know where the breakdown happened, when it happened. Uh, excuse me. It's the drink, girl. I mean, is it this deep that y'all got to shave each other? I mean, I don't know. Like, I just feel like there's really no problem there. So why try to create one on both sides? Why try to create a problem? I don't know. Um, I ain't got no time. 
Um, but Reese, you was messy as shit for them damn invitations. And the fact that you EP, we'll get to it when we get there. So Imani Van Zapp says that Ariel, Trey Howard, and Robert are chasing. Markel, George, and Carrie D are wasted. <laughs> and Eric James and George are just standing. Now, <clears throat> and this is no shade to none of y'all, but I do kind of agree with the assessment a little bit. Only because, like I said, it is starting to feel, much like I said last week, it's starting to feel like Kenya Moore and NeNe Leakes. Kenya Moore and that Walker talking Petri dish full of trichomonosis, professionally known as Horsha, you know. Um, Kenya uh, Moore and Kim Fields. Kenya Moore and Marlo. You know what I mean? Like, that, that's just what it feels like. It's the, Kenya Moore and Phaedra. Kenya Moore and Drew. You know what I mean? Like, that's just what it feels like. It, 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 uh, Kenya Moore and Sheree. Like, that's what it is. It, it's just like Kenya Moore and Kim Zosiak. Like, it, that, that's just what it's like. It, it's just like every season, this person is just automatically going to have a problem with this person. Or these two people issues still ain't going to be resolved. And we got to deal with it again. That shit does get boring. It gets tiresome. I get sick and tired of seeing it on the real reality shows. So... I mean, yeah, I'm over that. I'm just going to be real. I love everybody around there. I ain't got no personal problems with none of y'all around there, including you, Reese. I ain't got no problem with you, sis. I ain't got no problem with you nowhere in town, honey. So I'm not being biased about anything. I'm, I'm just being real. Like, I, I suppose. Um... So, Markel is filming season two for Lovers and Friends Confessionals, and he invites George and Carrie D over. Um, first and foremost, shout out to you, Markel, for having my ugly ass being shown in the background. You was looking at my review. You was looking at my review. Shout out to you, Markel. Y'all know Markel, my friend. I fuck with Markel the long way. So, definitely shout out to you for having my ugly ass being up there. Y'all see my uh, little cameo? Uh-huh. Chasing Dallas, I want my money. Girl, I was about to get real messy, but I'm not even going to do that because I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't got nothing to do with that, but the Just Dust League know what I'm talking about. I was I was fit to get real messy, but I ain't even going to do that because that ain't my fight. That ain't my cross to bear. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so Carrie Deed comes and George calls him out for being messy. And Markel says that Carrie Deed told Ariel 50% of the story. Um... Listen, Carrie, if you, if when you drink and your mouth rain for 40 days and 40 nights and, and it spills all type of unnecessary tea that don't need to be spilled, maybe you don't need to be drinking, sis. And you know I love you the long way, Carrie. I really do. I support you, your music. I support London James with his cute ass. Hey, I support all of that. But if if if, if your mouth going to be flooded like that, child, because this is the thing. Don't nobody want to be around a, 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 a loud mouth bitch like they don't. They don't want to be around, you know, a person that just just got to say something to somebody. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like, I. but again, we all said that Carrie was a little bit born last season. And I guess he's just trying not to be born this season. He heard a piece of tea. He brought it up on camera. It did bring him some camera time. It did bring us something to talk about and gag about and all that stuff. So, I mean, I get it, Carrie. I do. Um, now that I just thought about it, I get it. Uh, so, Reese G, Ariel, Dior, and Trey Howard go to a soft opening down to a club. And the club is real cute. I like the club. The bathroom is cute too, bitch. Look clean. You know, won't no cum stains all on the floor. Won't no condoms all over the place. Y'all know how it is down to the gay clubs, honey. I um, won't well, none of that going on around there. It look real cute, real spiffy, or whatever the case may be. I still ain't going to sit on the toilet seats, bitch. But, um, <laughs> you know, if I had to do a number two, even with the, 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 the lining, I wouldn't mind doing it. It was cute. It was cute. It was cute. So, um, and then, you know, he was showing them everybody else's invitations that he sent them, which was really messy. We're going to get to that down to the end. So, Carrie D and Linda James go out to catch up and do work. He said that they were supposed to do a radio interview, but the radio interview canceled. 
the people that did it canceled or whatever the case may be. So they was doing other shit. And the producers show Carrie D's <laughs> Reese messy ass invitation. Reese, you messy as my man apartment girl. We go get to it when we get there. But I like the way Carrie D handled it. Carrie D paid that shit. Carrie D laughed his ass off. See, Carrie D had the type of reaction I probably would have had. And to be real, George would have had the reaction that I would have had. And then I think about it, so did Markel, girl, just add me to all three of them. Like, all three of them was a vibe in the mood for me for how they handled it. Like, you know, they handled it a lot better than I probably would have. Because I would have called Reese and cussed his ass the fuck out. I would have laid into Reese's ass so bad. Baby, I would have put this camera. I would have went live on both channels. And child, I would have read Reese G down for every damn thing he were. If I had a problem with Reese G, which I don't. <laughs> okay. But that's just me. I'm, I'm just saying. Um, anyway. So, George invites Markel over with his friend Daryl. And they're doing a business venture of doing hookahs. Or whatever the case may be. Which, I'm down for. I got me a hookah. You know what I'm saying? So, George. I really do got me a hookah, George. Send me some, George. I'll test it out. Um, hit me up in my DMs. I'll test it out. I'll do a nasty piece of unboxing. Alright? I'll get your shit out to the masses. I got two channels. I got you, George. You know you my baby daddy. I love you down, George. You know, I'll do anything for you, George. Let me know. And I love me some hookah. Yeah, go ahead. Send me some. Mm-hmm. You need to come deliver it. <laughs> and nothing on but a bow tie. Child, let me stop. Let me leave him alone. People are already in the comments saying the way I lust over you is sinful. And it is. Child. I want both of us in hell lifted up our eyes, so let me go on ahead and stop. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so George and Markel gets Re Reese's messy invitation, and George compares Reese to Cynthia from Rare Housewives of Atlanta. One, that is a great comparison. I never would have thought about that. Shout out to Cent, by the way. Two, again, I like the way they handled it. Like, George didn't even want to listen to it. George was like, listen... That's trashy, it's classless, and you know, and I'm classy based. I don't have no time for that. And you know, Markel was down to listen to it. Markel thought it was funny. He thought it was funny. He thought it was hilarious. And he was just like, child, I'll show up just to show up. You know what I'm saying? Um, but listen, Reese, you was messy as hell. And you set the tone of what's to come for that party. You set that tone with the messy ass invites. To be real, Reese, because of the fact that you EP, I would have, I really would have admired you more had you just gave all of them the same invitation. Like the fact that you made, you you sent half of the cast nice ones and the other half of the cast very shady, very nasty ones. You know what I'm saying? You already set the tone and the standard for what the party is gonna be. From that moment on, this party is bullshit. And I just feel like you constantly walk around here saying that you're EP and you're a boss bitch and the girls are girling and things like that, which I love. If you still got the girls are girling, child, uh, what's your cash app? I really do need one in a 2X. Don't laugh. Yes, I say the 2X. And what? Um, And I believe what you're saying, Reese. But at the end of the day, a real boss and a true EP would never have done what you did on camera. I'm just going to be real because now the people that you shaded is only going to come there to throw shade back, which gives you something to talk about because now you're going to feel like they're being rude to you at your event. But how can you feel that way when you sent them those nasty ass advice? And while true, one can sit up and say, well, why would they even come? Well, they're on a reality show. You see, they making tacky and dickless that nigga in a dress and, and, and Kleenex. Go to damn Karen Wedding on Potomac. It's the same shit here. I don't know, Reese. Like, I just feel like because you EP, I don't know. I just, uh, like, I don't even like it when Shawnee do that shit. And she is, was, whatever the hell she is. And I called her out on it. And I got to do you the same way, baby. And again, I ain't got no problems with you, Reese. Do your thug thizzle, child. Do your thug thizzle, my nizzle, make it happen. Okay, you Reese G, not Cardi B, but you get to the money. Oh, I want you to get to it, girl. 
I do. But I'd much rather you do it singing in the background like I'm about to do. Because again, I'm lit. And this shit went way longer than what it really needed to go to. It's 19 minutes. It's going to be 20. It's the Hennessy girl. But uh, that's it. That's all I got. I ain't got no more to gig it. Y'all drop down in the comments. Like I said, the link to Chasing Reality will be down in the description box. Just click down there. It'll take you right to the Chase Reality YouTube page, which in turn takes you right to Chasing Dallas. Chasing Dallas is good this season. I, I, I see it for Chasing Dallas. I see it for Chasing Dallas. Y'all see I'm here. So we're going to see if y'all continue to keep me, though. I'm gone. Bye.